Hello everyone, welcome back to our QGIS tutorial video. In our last video, we discussed how we can convert vector data to raster data and vice versa. And in this video, we will be showing you the geometry functions of the vector layer. You can find the geometry tools under vector, geometry tools, and here are all the geometric functions of the vector layer. First of all, we will be working with the uh, check validity function of the vector layer in QGIS. This function is used to perform a validity check on the geometries of a vector layer. The geometries are classified in three groups, valid, invalid, and error, and for each group, a vector layer with its features is generated. The first one, the valid out layer contains only the valid features, that is, without topological errors. The invalid output layer contains all the invalid features found by the algorithm. And the third one, the error output layer, is the point layer that points to where the invalid features were found. This function can be used with any of your vector layers. In this video, we will be using a polygon layer and find the errors in that vector layer. So this is the polygon layer. Uh, you can know the error in this layer by opening the attribute table as the number of features in the attribute table do not match the number of features which can be seen on the map. So let's just open the attribute table. And here you can observe that there are five polygons, but when you see in the uh, map canvas, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight total eight polygons. Uh, from this, we can know that there is an error in our layer. If you are working on a large data set, then it will be very difficult to know which features have the errors. Therefore, we will need this uh, check validity function. This will lead to a dialog box where we will be selecting the input layer as the polygon layer. Uh, we have three methods for checking validity. The one selected in the digitizing setting, QGIS and GEOS. These methods are almost similar. But the third one, that is GEOS, will give you the error that occurred first in the feature. So let's select GEOS. In addition, this function will give you three outputs, valid output, invalid output, and error output that I discussed earlier about in different colors. After selecting the input layer and the method, let's run this function. So yeah, here you can see the valid output in gray color, invalid output in green color, and error output in uh, green dots. Now let's see the application of uh, densify geometries function. This function is useful in adding the number of vertices in a given line or polygon layer. I will be demonstrating this function on two different uh, layers, that is lines and polygons. So first let's begin with the uh, lines. I'll be working with this line. I'll go to vector, uh, densify geometries, and lines. So here you can see there are one, two, three, and four vertices and three different lines. So this adds vertices to each of the line. So you can uh, specify how many vertices you want to add in one line. So I will add four vertices for now and run. So you can see you can see the result. Uh, that is, when you edit it, you can see uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four vertices that are added in each of the lines. Likewise, I will be following the same steps for adding vertices in this new uh, layer, that is polygon layer. I'll be adding vertices in this particular polygon layer. So for, first of all, let's see how many vertices are there in this layer now. So there are one, two, three, four vertices now. And to add uh, vertices, we follow the same step as that of the lines. Go to vector, geometry tools, densify geometries. Input layer is the polygon layer. I'd like to add uh, three vertices on each 
let's say two vertices in each side and then run so the difference you can see is there are four vertices in each of the sides that are added afterwards furthermore you can extract these vertices to make them points by uh, with the help of vector geometry tools extract nodes uh, of the densified layer and run so in this way you can extract the vertices into points uh, now we will be helping you with the polygon centroid function of QGIS uh, we will be using the save file of the province one of Nepal with its distinct divisions now uh, what we are going to do is uh, put centroid on all these municipalities for that I'll click on vector geometry tools and polygon centroids this function simply creates a new point layer the point representing the centroids of the geometries of the input layer so what is centroid centroid it's a single point representing the barycenter of all parts of the given feature the centroid can be outside the feature borders as well as the point on each part of the feature the attributes of the points in the output layer are the same as that for the original features so the input layer here is province 1 and run so in this way you can see uh, the centroid in each of the VDC and municipalities. Uh, the next function that we'll be dealing with is line to polygon and polygon to line function of geometry tools. The function line to polygon will give an estimated polygon out of your line in the map canvas. You can see here I have loaded a save file which contains different types of lines. Uh, to make polygon out of it, go to vector geometry tools lines to polygon option you should assign an input layer here it is lines and uh, then you can save the output to a file or simply run and simply run you can see the polygon out of the lines now I'll use the same polygon for the polygon to line function so for this let's go to vector again geometry tools polygon to lines and here I'll select polygons from line option and create a temporary file and run so here is the line uh, out of the polygon that we prepared earlier that's all for this video in our next video we will be continuing uh, the remaining geometry function for the vector layer Thank you for watching. You can get connected to our email ID, Facebook page, Instagram ID and do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.